Thank you, Madam Chair. I wish to address the House for 10 minutes and revise and extend my remarks. I'm supposed to hit the gravel there. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for the opportunity to allow me to speak to you today. Let me, let me remind you, my friends, that the death of a nation happens with a whisper and a nudge, patiently and seldomly. Robbing its unsuspecting citizens of inalienable rights and replacing them with government controls. For the good of the people, of course. Only when it is too late to turn back the clock does the nation realize that freedom has vanished in the blink of an eye. You are here today because you are paying attention and you want to be part of the solution. For that I applaud you and invite you into the arena with me on Team Benevoli. As you know, a war is being waged for the soul of America. It is not a war of steel and cartridge, it is a conflict of ideas. Fought not in trenches, jungles, or a desert. Instead, it is played out in town halls, round tables, Republican, Democrat, Tea Party, and Liberty groups all across the nation. It is on the radio and television, in Madison Avenue product commercials, and our children's classrooms. Instead of cannonades, there are editorials. Instead of bombs, there are speeches. Instead of rifle volleys, there are letters to the editor joined by Vice, Vitus News. Instead of late minefields, they have determined what is and what isn't free speech, laying claim to their version of political correctness. And it's even gotten more fierce with voter fraud, dark money, and impeachment tactics. There are battles worth fighting, and I stand equipped and ready to serve. What the left believed yesterday is no, no, no longer what they believe today because Trump is president. Wearing a MAGA hat can get you thrown out of a classroom, a restaurant, off a train, or a plane. Freedom of speech is preserved as long as you agree with the way they think. Bill, Hillary, Obama, and other Democrats are about the law. Republicans and conservatives are guilty for everything bad that happens. There is indoctrination rather than education in many of our schools. They say we can practice our religion as long as you are not a Christian or a Jew. The left belief believes God is dead. And the government is replacing God by an act of Hollywood. Christians are hypocrites and should be prevented from voting. They worship and practice hypocrisy, lies, and deceit as if it was a religious ritual. Gender is determined by what a person feels like today. The news media is a propaganda outlet. The strength of a candidate's integrity and honor have been replaced by how much is in the campaign. Selling your soul is being pragmatic. The lobbyists will provide sex, money, drugs, and booze 24 7, as long as you agree with them. Researching a candidate is determined by postcards, radio, and television advertising provided by the political hacks. The political salesman does it all for you. A lie will circle the globe before a truth is on the drive. Anti-American socialist Haley Stevens and her friends believe illegal aliens are more important and will be treated better than our veterans. They want control of our social media. They will determine our medical freedom from birth to death, who can be born and when we can die. They will determine what light bulbs we use the size of a soda pop can, and the straw from which to drink. They want to regulate cow, pig, sheep, and chicken flatulence. Did I get that right? <laughs> More importantly, they are taking aggressive actions to dis disarm law-abiding citizens. The socialist Haley Stevens and her friends are openly at war with everything once considered sacred and unique to America. And worst of all, the socialists believe that was once a bundle of joy and new hope representing the brighter future has no soul and could be reduced to hazardous waste. 
tiny arms and legs thrown out like unwanted trash. And on that hazardous waste receptacle, they don't respect the contents enough to visit it as human remains. All we need for evil to triumph is good men and women to do nothing. There are battles worth fighting, and I'm answering the call once again. We have what it takes to defeat Haley Stevens. You need to get involved. You need to donate and sign up and volunteer. This and these are battles worth fighting. In the last election, Team Benvolio was the only Republican at a Democrat debate. It was Team Benvolio against five Democrats. And by their own admission, Team Benvolio won the debate. <laughs> Our team is experienced, principled, and more than capable. And we can win that be allowed with your involvement. But it's got to be you too. In many campaigns, promises are made and later broken by candidates because less than 3% of bills submitted in the House are brought for consideration for a vote. That's 3%. That is a fact. No representative in Congress will meet everyone's expectations. Yet, Team Bendolio has already defied the odds and exceeded those expectations. We not only had three bills brought to the floor for a vote, but all three bills passed with 100% bipartisan support. <laughs> That's four bills if you include our traffic bill, camera bill, which passed as part of a larger piece and protects your privacy rights on federally funded highways. You drive over 10 miles an hour over the speed limit, you don't get a ticket in the mail. It was our bill that did that. Our district office, oh, excuse me. Every bill we sponsored came from votes in this district, just like you, because our team listened and brought common sense to Washington. Brought you to Washington. Our district office won two constituent awards. A highlight for me was helping the people of the 11th come through Governor Red Tate, often meeting them in their own towns and with our mobile office. I want to serve the people of love in this capacity again. Our report card shows a 100% score for cutting government waste and the highest score for transparency. Every vote with rationale explained to our constituents on Facebook. We may not have agreed with it, but we did. We navigated the gridlock of Congress and made progress. Team Ben Polio has the experience, and we want to continue the battle to protect our future. We can get the ground running. Together, we will work to prevent elder abuse in our hospitals and courts. Together, we will work to secure our borders against human and drug trafficking. Together, we will work to secure medical freedom. Together, we will protect and defend our constitutional rights, especially the Second Amendment, for without that, we lose everything. Both Democrats and Republicans are traitors to the cause of freedom by their own admission. Not one representative from Michigan, not one, can match what we have already accomplished in our two years that we were in office. Not one representative can match that. None. States may fall into the grip of socialism and the erroneous apparatus of dictatorial rule. <coughs> Team Benevolio will fight to, to the end, protecting our future. Team Benevolio shall not flag or fail for continuing this battle. Team Benevolio will defend our freedom on every street, in every town, in the classrooms, in the courtrooms, and with your help, once again, in Congress. Yeah. Yeah. Team Benevolio has been fighting this for more than 10 years to protect our God-given freedoms, whatever the cost may be, because Team Benevolio will never, ever surrender. If not for you, then for our children and our grandchildren. For our God, our families, and our country, you must join the fight 
in the last election in Wayne County with no money. We came in third place because we had boots on the ground. Not money. There's not a candidate out here that's going to outspend Haley Stevens. She has seven million of Soros money. It takes every one of you to go door to door and spread the message what freedom is. And the guy who had an office that did the job. Madam Chair, subject to questions, my remarks are concluded. Thank you. Uh.